Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called Survival Fountain of Youth. All right, Survival Fountain of Youth is a challenging single-player open-world survivor game set on a Caribbean island. You play as a stranded 16th century explorer, crafting your way through the struggles of survival in order to unveil the secrets of an ancient civilization and own your fate. This is on Steam right now. It's not on sale. It's not come. It's like coming soon. Uh, but you can ask for early, you can ask for access to it. And I did, and I got it like instantly. So you guys might want to give it a try. Uh, this game is really good. I played it. God, I played it for like an hour, maybe an hour and a half because I was having so much fun and I'm just, I'm ready to record. So let's go ahead and start a new game. We're going to have the tutorial. We're going to uh, not do one life and we're going to leave difficulty on normal. Just basically keep everything straight down the line. All right, here we are waking up on our ship. We got to go for the morning council. We're looking, basically, we're looking for the, uh, uh, someone's knocking on my door. Basically, we're looking for the uh, Fountain of Youth. We came into a bunch of islands. Uh, there's my last will and testament. Um, I've already read all this stuff, so I'm going to go through it pretty quick. But if you guys want to read it, just go ahead and pause the video whenever I, like, bring something up you want to read. Uh, supposed to go this way. Yeah, we got to get to the bow of the ship, which I think is the back, the stern. The stern is the front? I don't know. I don't know anything about ships. All I know is where we gotta go is over this way. We need to go to the bow. This looks like the back to me. Okay, we're gonna take that map. Okay, and now we need to go to the captain's office. Alright, the captain's office is pretty easy to find. It's the only, like, door with a sign on it. So, it's right here. Let's go in here and check it out. And then we need to take the flint and steel. So we'll grab that. Light the oil lamp. Sounds good to me. Do I actually have flint and steel on me? Yeah, I took the flint and steel, but I don't actually have it on me. I'm not sure what, where it went. <laughs> but, um, oh, oh, I used it to light the lamp. Oh, okay, I get it. And I just probably dropped it on the ground after that. All right, let's look in the expedition book. Now, uh, we're basically look. I already read all this. Uh, so we're basically looking for the... Uh, Fountain of Youth. We found a bunch of islands where we think it might be. And one of our ships, the San Cristobal? Christ Christ I have no idea. Uh, that thing um, crashed and we couldn't find it. So that's where we are today. Place the map on the stand. And now we're going to take a look at the map. And see what we can find. Hmm, sounds like there's some chop out there. Oh, boy, that's a lot of chop. <laughs> oh, man, this isn't looking good. I'm no expert boat guy, but this is not looking good. Oh, God. Okay. So that hurt. All right. I still need to place the map on the stand, apparently. <laughs> All right. There we go. And now I got a new goal. Escape. All right. Uh, take the grotto plan on the table. Okay. Grotto map location. Oops, sounds good to me. And we need to take two things. Alright, so you get your choice here. I've only played this game once, and I took the leather backpack and the spear. And I really enjoyed my choice. Um, the iron axe might not be too bad. The navy coat will help you with sun resistance. The living water, I think, gives you um, like an extra life or something. Uh, flint and steel will help with fire. You know, I, I don't know. I, I like the spear. So that's what I'm going to take. I can't come back. Yeah, can't come back. I was watching someone play this like a week ago, and they... Oh, boy, that's loud. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's just enjoy the... Let's enjoy the sea. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. Got no choice, bro. Oh, boy, here we are on an island. Here we are on the beach of an island. Boy, this is, uh... This is familiar with a lot of games I play. Okay. <laughs> The captain's door. Okay, we need to find some green coconuts. Um, I'm also going to pick up sticks. Um, let's see if we can find some green coconuts on the ground. There's a regular coconut. There's a green coconut. Now, you're going to have to worry about the sun. So if you look in the top left-hand side, there's the sun. You want to kind of try and stay in the shade if you can. All right, so now we're going to craft some coconut water. We're going to go to crafting. Uh, once you have a coconut in your inventory, you don't right-click on it to do anything. By the way, look at all these spots I got because of the leather backpack. Um, you come in here and you craft. So I'm going to craft that, the coconut water. And I'm also going to craft the coconut pulp. You, there's two. There's green coconut and there's like... I don't remember what the other coconut was. It was the brown coconut. Ripe coconut. Um, I don't know if this can actually give you water ever, but I don't think it can. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and drink this. Here's my stats down here. Food, thirst, stamina. Um, That's not like a stamina bar, stamina. That's how long you have until you got to sleep. And then a health bar. So we're going to go ahead and eat that as well. We need to get our food over 50%. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come up here, and there's going to be some uh, branches up here. And you are going to harvest these. Not chop, harvest. Okay. You could uh, skip, by the way, if you don't want to wait the whole time. Um, the, the sun is going to be a problem here pretty soon. Right, I think I can get a few more. Yeah, that's probably going to be a problem with the sun now. Yep, I got some sunburn. I think that little hand... Yep, sunburn. Taking damage. But at least I got the sticks. So we're going to come back down here and get in the shade. I think the sunburn gets better over time on its own. And you could use, like, bandages and stuff. Um, C. So you go sunburn. Chance of getting better 45%. Getting worse 35%. These are the things you can do for it. Alright, so now that we've gotten that stuff, we're going to go ahead and do our crafting list here. And we are going to make ourselves a spindle fire starter. Which is why you don't need the flint and steel. And then we are going to make a fire. A campfire. Um, if I can find it. There it is. And we'll just put this... Right there, I guess. Looks pretty good. And then we place everything in there. There's a chance you can get hurt doing this stuff, but what are you going to do, right? And it comes with fuel. Everything's looking good. We just need something to cook in it. All right. So let's go this way. Oh, let's grab that. And grab this. And grab that. And grab that. Also, you can come on here and grab three of these. Okay. Um, like, like, you could do two things with most of these trees. You can harvest or you can chop them down. I don't have anything to chop them down with, so you harvest. And I'm going to need these to make a bed. Alright, um, man, this is, I'm running out of freaking shade here. Uh, alright, let's go ahead and make a bed. It's not telling me to sleep yet, but I know it's going to. I'm not sure if I just sleep before it tells me to. Alright, um, gotta find a spot for it. There we go. I guess that's good enough. Sun's still kicking my ass. Okay, and let's go this way and see if we can get some food now. Hopefully we can get some food before we get too tired. Yep, there we go. So this is why I wanted the spear. Okay, if you could actually hit... Oh, he's not running. Oh, right. why is he running? These guys are supposed to be pretty... Yeah, there they go. That was weird. Okay, fair enough. This is how you're normally going to get them. There we go. And should we get a couple more? Um... You know, maybe I can come out here in the dark and get them. Uh, so I don't have to worry about the sun. Although, I think the sun's not affecting me now. Because I don't see the actual sun thing. So I'm not really sure. Yeah, let's grab one more. Boom! Headshot. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game, guys. Usually when I'm going to play a game, I usually do about a half hour, an hour. You know, because like I'm trying to learn, the, you know, so I don't stumble my way through the beginnings of the game. This game, it was like an hour and a half. I was having so much fun. It was kind of crazy. Right, we're going to go ahead and sleep for a few hours. Uh, just a few. So when you sleep, uh, this is what you're going to get back in sleep. You know, it's going to take some some hunger and stuff. No big deal. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about the sun. Let's go ahead and cook. So you come in here and then you ignite it. And that's going to take a little bit of time. And then you come into the fire and now you can cook stuff. Alright, so we're going to cook three crabs. I would also like to make some charcoal. Alright. Craft some charcoal. And then I think we will extinguish this. Now the charcoal should allow me... If you press the map button, I should be able to do some mapping. Okay? Use the charcoal to write down the map. But I don't know what it's going to show. Because I think it only shows stuff that you actually got... Um, oh, it's too dark. Yeah, you gotta do it during the day. Alright, I'll mess around with it later. Can I loot this? <gasps> I've never looted this before. Oh, it's just got a loaf of bread. Okay. I didn't even notice there was something to loot. Is there more stuff to loot out here? Yep, right there. No. Maybe not. Okay. Um, oh, so we got these little uh, clamshells here. Which is pretty dope. Uh, what do we got over here? More clamshells? Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so the next thing we're going to have to do is ra raise our food value. That's a piece of cake. I can do that right now, actually. Alright, because we got these cooked crabs. 13. You do have indigestion chance. You know, what are you going to do? We're just going to eat all of those. 
And now we need to sleep for six hours, which I guess I will do. Because it's telling me to. I don't think you could do the next part of the quest without, you know, doing the part of the quest they're telling you to do. Alright, my sunburn has disappeared and it is raining, which I guess is good. I don't know if that's going to put out a fire, though. But, you know, we'll see. So the next thing you have to do is build a signal fire. So for the signal fire, we are going to need... Where is it? There it is. We're going to need one more of these and a couple more sticks. Um, can I get sticks from this? No. I need to chop that down. That's the next part of that. All right. So it is raining, so the sun's not really much of a problem right now, I guess. Although it looks like the sun's out, but I guess it's not like full strength. So we're going to come over here and get more sticks. See, that's why you... I mean, I don't... I don't think you really need the axe. Honestly, I think I think what I took is the best items. But I've only I have not played the game a ton, obviously. Oh. Wait, plants? Oh. I got damage from the plant. Alright, interesting. Something to keep in mind. Let's get back to base so we try not to get any sunburn. And I'm slow even when I'm running. Alright, get back to base. And this is why I built here. Because now the sun's gone. I guess I'm wet too, so maybe you have to worry about hypothermia at some point. Whatever. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a fire. A fire. A signal fire. Oh, crap. I got to get more of those. There we go. More of these. All right. Signal fire. By the way, these right here are the clam pieces. So I've got a decent amount of food. Also, this leaf cape will help with uh, uh, sun resistance, which is something I'm going to want. Let's do the campfire first. Or the signal fire. Looks good to me. Yep, yeah, got sunburned. Damn it. Okay, well, what are you going to do? Now we need to find a stone. Oh boy, that's not something I want to do during the day. Um, I could get some sleep. I guess if you can get some sleep, you probably should. Uh, also, let's grab some coconuts out of this thing. Oh, you need oh, you need a cutter. Okay, damn it. How did I make a cutter? I need a stone to make a cutter. Alright, I think we're going to have to go out. Let's, let's sleep some now. Maybe when we wake up, the sun won't be as strong. I mean, honestly, with the way the sun works in this game, you kind of want to do everything during the night. I don't see why not. What's that eye crossed out thing? It's dark. Yeah. Duh. Uh, oh, also, I changed my settings earlier. Um, on my brightness. So let me put that back down to normal. I meant to play with that with normal. Unless you guys can't see. Yeah, it's kind of dark. I don't, I don't mind playing in the dark, but I don't like making a video where people can't see. Okay, yeah, the hell of it. I'm going to play like this. Um, you can make a torch, but it takes, like, stuff I have never found before. I don't think. Let me, let me take a look really quick. Uh, torch. Can I just look it up? Yeah, there we go. All right, th this stuff, I've never found what I need for this stuff. Um, this thing right here. Oh, you need an oil lamp, too, for a torch? Wow. Lamp oil. Fewer for... Learn blueprint. Okay. Alright, whatever. I, I don't have... I can't... I never found any rope yet. So we are gonna have to look for some rope. But first things first, let's find a stone. There are uh, scary enemies in the game. I've had things growl at me. I've seen snakes. Rattlesnakes. Uh, the turtles obviously aren't a big deal. But that, uh, those other guys. Woof. Scary. Alright, there's a stone. Alright. So I found a stone. Why isn't my journal thing updating? Find a stone. Hold on, let's read this. Oh, probably wants me. Yeah, it wants me to make a cutter. Okay, fair enough. Um, where is the cutter? There it is. Stone cutter. Craft. Thirty minutes. Um, put the stone in there. Craft. Okay. Now I can. Now I can make the stone cutter. Okay, so you have to make the other stone, in order to make the stone cutter. I think. What does it want me to do next? Yeah, create a stone cutter. Yeah, it was weird. I went on stone cutter, but then it, like, changed the recipe, I think. But that's the recipe I actually need. Okay. Find the pictured grotto. Okay. So, the pictured grotto is that, um, that little thing right here. I'm over here. I just need to take the beach around to get to that. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to use the cutter on a couple of things before we go. Let me see if I can find that turtle. Uh, is that something I can loot? No. Not much to loot. One thing of bread. Alright, where's that turtle? I know he's around here somewhere. 
There he is, the little bugger. Boom! Okay. Now, if I didn't have the cutter, I couldn't harvest the meat. But I do have the cutter, so I'm going to. Also, you could pick this up and put it on your shoulder, apparently. And take it back to camp. I don't know what you would use this for. Maybe you could do something with the shell. Um, I don't know. But... I think I'm going to go find the picture grotto right now. I mean, why, why, like, why would I play during the day? Like, I don't really see the benefit of playing during the day. All it does is hurt you with the sun. So I'm going to go find the grotto right now. I'm just going to leave this over here at this camp. Because it obviously slows me down quite a bit. So F the drop. All right. Yeah, the grotto should be pretty easy. Let's, let's get to it. If I didn't know where it was, I would save up some food and some water. But I do know where it is, so I'm not really that concerned about it. Actually, before I leave, one one more thing. Um, I actually wanted to get the coconuts out of the tree, and I need a cutter to do it. And let me let me do that. That's a good idea. And we'll grab a couple of these as well. All right, and we are leveling up. When we get to the grotto, I'll show you all the leveling up stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm overweight. Oh, I didn't notice there was a weight thing. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and eat the bread. And oh boy, I got a lot of. A lot of coconuts on me. Alright, let's go ahead and drink. So we're going to make some of these. And we'll make one more. And then we will... Drink. And drink. Okay. Now we can move. Oh, I'm a little cold. Huh. I didn't think being cold would be a problem. Well, the sun's coming up, so... If, it is, if it's a real problem, it shouldn't be a real problem for long. So the grotto is basically a giant cave. Okay, so <laughs> I have not explored the whole thing. Uh, and yes, there are enemies in it, so we're going to have to deal with that. Scorpions, as far as I can tell, is it, but it, there might be more than that. I don't know. All right, now in order to sleep in the grotto, we are going to need more palm fronds. So let's go ahead and grab some palm fronds from here. I think there's actually palm fronds in the cave too, so that should be enough. I just don't know if there was five. <laughs> grotto. Am I saying that right? Grotto? Probably. I don't know how it's... Uh, grotto? I don't... It doesn't sound right. But who knows? I'm, I'm sure people will be happy to let me know. And here we go. Here's the grotto. Uh, we got some fuzzball mushrooms. We got scorpions all over the freaking place. I'm just going to stab them and pick them up. Um, you use scorpions to make anti-venom from the scorpions, as far as I can tell. Alright, yeah, that's good. We'll take this. We'll take all of this. And then we will look at this. Alright. I was not destined to complete a map of the local seas, but it may come in handy to find this place where Santiago sank. A few miles south of this island. So... We're here, I'm guessing. And that's where it sank. Okay. Perhaps there's still something useful there. Alright. Uh, and let's look at this. Island of Hope map. On this map, Ponce de Leon marked... I try not to say these names because I always butcher them, but I think I did okay with that one. Uh, marked the appro approximate location of two water sources. Okay, so we're here. And there's a water source over here, although it looks like it's in... Um, uh, unfriendly territory. And then maybe if we come this way, we can get through the mountains and get to this one. We'll have to see. Um, the coastal grotto and the small island where he lost his spyglass. The captain says that the spyglass remained in the place where blah, blah, blah. All right, so we go there to get the spyglass, I guess. Although, can we go through the water? I, I don't know. I have no freaking clue. All right, we got a letter from this dude. To anyone who's, to anyone who's reading this, I am Jean... Ponce de Leon, uh, head of the expedition study of these islands, barely survived. I already read all this, but uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, this spyglass. Okay, you guys, go ahead and pause that if you want to read the whole thing. All right, so we got a living water, which I think gives us um, another life if we die. We could like come back to life or something. Sounds good. Pick up all of this. Can we pick up any more? Don't think I can pick up any more. Wait, what was that? I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> uh, Tinder. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. Alright, craft a bandage, craft a wooden spear. Alright, let's see what we need for a bandage. 
right, so right here is the uh, the treated scorpion venom. So it cures diseases. Uh, this right here is good, but we need to make it in a campfire. Let's go ahead and grab all that. And let's add some fuel to the fire. And go ahead and ignite it. Okay, I failed. Um, I am going to get tired soon, so let me go ahead and make a bed. Just so we don't have to worry about that. There we go. I might even sleep before I try to make the fire. Because if you, um... If you, like, let yourself get too tired, you start taking damage. There we go. Now let's make the fire. Boom! Wait, what? Fail to ignite. Okay. Stop failing. My goodness, are you kidding me? I'm spending the whole day trying to light a fire, then I'm going to go to sleep again? There we go. Oh, boy. Um, all right, let's go ahead and make the bandage. Uh, maybe we should make a few. I don't think we can. Uh, yeah, we only have enough to make one. It's fine. And let's go ahead and cook this meat. And now we're getting hurt. Okay. Stop. Uh, let's put out the fire. Go to sleep. I'm just going to sleep for five hours so I can finish cooking and stuff. Um, is there anything else to cook? Oh, you can upgrade the fire. Oh, okay. Didn't know about that. That's freaking dope. Uh, do I have anything else to craft? Well, I, I could... Yeah. Yeah, I got more stuff to cook. But we don't need to cook it right now. We're actually doing really good. Sorry, really well. Alright. Can I make a chest? I think I saw a chest somewhere. Let me see what we need for that chest. Yes. Yes. And I guess I'll just put it right... I don't know. Right here, I guess. It's probably not going to hold too much, but whatever. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. All right, that's not bad. All right, while we're in here, let's take a look at our character. Um, there's different kinds of survival abilities you can you can level up. I could do better sleep, which uh, is fast recovery rate by sleeping, which I really like. Um, there's food bonus, which is pretty decent. Water bonus, which is pretty decent. Um, less chance to get indigestion. Uh, reduced risk of get disease due to weather. And there is concentration mode available via the hockey in this, in this mode. You can see objects, weapons, ammo, drop bags are highlighted. I actually used this for a little bit, and it didn't really seem to do anything. Uh, so I'm gonna actually go with less sleep, because I seem to have a sleep. I seem to have to sleep a lot. All right, beautiful. And then there's this right here, which are all your skills and what they do. Yeah, look at that. Gathering reduces injury chance. Okay, cool. Do we want to go outside during the day? Well, I just. Oh no, I haven't slept yet. Good. Yeah, let's sleep. Sleep for 10 hours. Nice long sleep. And what time is it? Is there a way to tell? Yeah, right here. It's going to be nighttime soon. So the um, sun will be going down shortly. And then we will go out because... Um, whoa, what's with my guy? He's all must. He's all jacked. Uh, injury chance, negative 25%. Full of energy. Confirm test at lower chance of injury. All right, I'm just going to go out and not really worry about the sun. I don't think it's like... Like a huge, huge deal. Um, what I would actually, you know, what I would like to do. Let's make some sun resistance clothes. Uh, what's my next task? Yeah, we'll craft a spear later. Let's do some sun resistance clothes. So we've got the leaf hat. Um, yeah, this is all sun protection. Okay, great, and it's all leaves. Although I'm not really sure where to get the wide leaves. Let's come out here and see. This is going to give me palm leaves. I've gotten wide leaves. I just don't remember where I got them. We're just going to grab a lot of these. A lot of these leaves. Uh, yeah, let's grab two of these as well. Three of these. Right, let's see what we can make now. Does this give you any defense? Probably not. Alright, leaf hat. Can't do that. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, we can't do that. Uh, we can't do that. Alright, we got to go find these wide, these wide leaves. Uh, first of all, did that stuff go right on my um, right on my guy? Yes, it did. Okay. Cool. Oh, we still need to do some mapping. Damn it. I need to do that during the day. I'd like to find those wide leaves first. We might map next video. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Let's go do some exploring. Yeah, let me know if you guys can't see okay. You know, I'll stop going out during the night. But, um, you know, I just want to see what you guys say in the comments. Sometimes I think it's too dark and it's really not. But I don't want it to be too dark. I hate watching YouTube videos 
where they're too dark. Drives me up a wall. All right, I think this thing right here wants to fight me. Yep, he definitely wants to fight me. And he's dead. And he's gone. Oh, my cutting tool's almost gone. All right, we need to keep a lookout for more stone. All right, well, that's cool. And what do we got here? Chamomile? I don't... That's probably going to make some tea. But don't really need that right now, so I'm going to leave it alone. That right there is the cartographer tree. You're going to have a quest that um, wants you to make a map of the area. You need to make charcoal and then find the cartographer tree. I wonder if it'll... Um, oh, what is that? Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm going to go to the cartographer tree. Just to see. Yeah, so I can cut it down. I'm not going to cut it down. I think they respawn if you leave them here. All right, let's see if we can make any more uh, any more clothes. Make the hat. Make the shoes. And those should all be on me. Beautiful. Cool. So there's going to be... Here, let me, let me show you this really quick. There's going to be this item right here that I've never been able to make called uh, rope. All right, and in order to get the rope, you need this stuff. Can be gathered from... Ban Banyan with vine plants in the jungle. Now I've gone into the jungle. Maybe I didn't go deep enough. I'm not sure, but I couldn't find any of that stuff. So that's a, that's the one thing I haven't figured out yet. Um, so we're just gonna kind of have to see how that goes. It, um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, like maybe I didn't actually go in the jungle. I went over here. That looks jungly to me. All right, let's go find the cart. Let's go to the cartographer tr cartographer's tree. It's gonna ask you to climb it, but you're gonna need the rope to climb it. All right, guys, forget the sun. We're going in the jungle during the day. It was too dark to see during the night. Got some tinder mushrooms. Uh, sure. I'll take some tinder mushrooms. All right. So there is a, there's going to be snakes in here. And I did see some boars. And there's something that wants to fight. What is that? A skunk? Are, do skunks do that in real life? Are skunks like hot? Like, I know skunks would spray you, but I didn't think they'd like come at you and try and bite you. Uh, put in my inventory. Oh, okay. Get on the ground, um, carve it up, gather, drop it on the ground and carve it up. Wait, I just, hold on. Why can't I carve it up? All right, I'm not really sure. I'll just put it in my inventory for now. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty nasty. Oh, snake. Damn, man. Got him. Get him! Interaction. Oh, a tail. You don't get any meat off snakes? Come on, man. I have insufficient tool durability. Great. Alright, whatever. Um, Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, I've watched Survivor, man. He, he lived off snakes pretty good. Alright, yeah, see, I'm not finding the things that I need for the rope in here. Oh, God. Damn it! Did he... Wait, Tummy didn't poison me? Oh. Wait, near death. Take meds. Yeah, he didn't poison me. I thought when a snake bites you, you're poisoned. <laughs> There's no if, ands, or buts, but I don't know. Uh, oh, fruit. Gotta take that or you're gonna get scurvy. Uh, I got crafting options with that. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, let's be careful here. Go towards that big red bush. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure you're supposed to get the rope stuff. I am getting attacked by an, a bird! A dead bird. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can just pull out the feathers. Alright, I'm also looking for a stone, by the way. Because, um, well, I need another stone. Oh! Damn, bro! Another skunk! The, what the frick? <laughs> Is that real? Are skunks really like that? Oh, God. Alright, I'm going back to base for a minute. I want to drop stuff off. Everything's full anyway, so... Yeah, let me go drop stuff off and we'll look for a rope for one more uh, excursion. We'll, we'll see if we can find some. Oh, did I find it? Is that what I'm looking for? Now, let's be careful. We're doing a lot of exploring. Uh, 
Uh, yep. There we go. Six. Beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, you need an axe. Son of a biscuits. I can make an axe, I think. Um, still, well, I don't have any... Alright, let me see. Let me see. I'm pretty sure I can make an axe. Let me, let me try. First of all, let's take a look at the axe. Uh, hammer. Hammer. Uh, there we go. Stone axe. Bam! Now let's get it. Whoa, what the frig? What was that? Oh, a scorpion. Wait, a scorpion's doing out here. Kind of an odd spot for scorpions, but, you know, whatever. Um, axe. No suitable items. Wait, what? Um... No suitable tool. No suitable items. Um, yeah, I need an axe, right? Do, can it not be the crappy axe? Does it have to be, like, a better axe? Did I actually make the axe? Sometimes I go to craft the things and it doesn't craft them. I think it's crafting the prerequisites first. And I'm not noticing. Um, stone axe. Craft. Maybe I got interrupted by the scorpion. Do I have the stone axe? There we go. Now I got the stone axe. Now can I do this? Yeah, there we go. It's going to make me overweight. That's okay. I will do what I got to do. Um, how, first of all, how, oh, we're, not, we're barely overweight. Uh, something to eat. Ah, I need to cook that meat. I forgot to cook the meat. All right, we'll just take this, and let's get back to base. Let's not run through the jungle, though. Bad idea. At least I know what I'm looking for. It's on the big trees. I decided not to go home, because I want to climb this thing and do the cartographer thingy. Uh, let's go ahead and track that quest. All right. And there we go. I already made the rope, by the way. Um, oh, cool. How do I... Oh, okay, this is scary. <laughs> this is scary. A great place for mapping. All right, so let's go ahead and do some mapping. Hopefully we have our flint with us. And we do. Skip time. And there's our map. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's get back home before we uh, pass out. Okay. I'm pressing W to go down, by the way. Oh, oops. I guess I gotta, like, jump off or something? Throwing mode. Okay, no. I thought it was, like, get off rope mode or something. Came back to base, and, uh, yeah. Freaking scorpions respawned. <laughs> Alright, now that we're back at base, and I guess we're safe. I don't know about the, the rest of the scorpions. I only saw one. What is that? Remains of small animal. Oh! Those are the things I threw on the ground. Remember those, um, skunks I got that I couldn't cut up? Probably because I didn't have a, uh, a tool to do it. And I threw them on the ground, now I've got bones. Interesting. Okay, this game seems pretty freaking deep, you know? Alright, really quickly, let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Alright, and here we go. Oh, it actually marked a tree where I got the, uh... Where I got the vine from, that's beautiful. We got boars over here, peccary. Big branch, there's also small branches. These, um, where am I? Like, if I go out... Yeah, right there. Small, long sticks. That's what I meant. Long sticks. Find me. I don't know where I am. Okay, there's the global map. The Island of Hope. Alright, guys. If you want to see more of this game, please let me know in the comments. Please like the video. Please share the video. All that good stuff. If you're new here, uh, please subscribe for more daily videos. I do two videos every day. And um, I, th I think you're going to enjoy them. So make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.